Hey familia, Miranda here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my entire Rosario Dawson collection. So you guys voted in the community tab, and you guys chose her. And I'm actually very excited to share with you guys my collection, um, because I would definitely consider her to be one of my favorite actresses. I absolutely adore her. She has some pretty great roles. I mean, she's kind of has some small roles which I find to be kind of unfair but when she gets a main role she can definitely pull it off you guys and I have just seriously enjoyed everything that I have seen her in. I do actually have quite a few films of hers so let's go on ahead and uh, see what films I do have of hers in the collection. All right, so first up is this film called A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints. I have not seen this one. It was kind of weird because in my app, for some reason, this film did not show up under her filmography, but you can clearly see that she is listed there and she is on the cover, so I don't know what was up with that. But yeah, I've heard great things on this one, so I definitely need to see about checking this one out soon. So next up, we have a couple of voice roles. So first one here is the Lego Batman movie. So she did voice Batgirl in this. I will be honest, you guys, this is the only like Lego flick that I actually actually truly like. I saw this one in theaters with my son and seriously everybody in the theater that day was just laughing the asses off. This film is just so flipping hilarious. It was just such a good time and I absolutely freaking love this flick. I mean for it being a Lego flick it's pretty dang awesome. <laughs> um, and then the other one that I have here is uh, Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. I guess she voices Nyx I think that's the name that I saw. So um, I've seen this one. I really don't remember too too much about it since I've only seen it like once but my girls do like this one so got that one. All right, next up, so she was in Men in Black 2, so I do have that one here. Um, this film called Parts Per Billion, this is one that I actually recently got, haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but uh, we'll see how she is in it. Then she was uh, in Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief. I do enjoy the Percy Jackson flicks. Her role wasn't very big in this because she did play Persephone, who was down in the underworld with Hades and stuff, um, but yeah, I mean, I liked her in it, you know. Um, then we do have Unstoppable, I love this one. And then this one right here, you guys, Unforgettable. This film is very, very underrated. I mean, she was very good in here. So was Katherine Heigl. Katherine Heigl in this, this was just a film, like a role of hers that was just so crazy. It was nothing like she'd been in before. But uh, Rosario Dawson, she was really, really good in this. And to go up against Katherine Heigl's character, yeah, pretty awesome. Um, then we do have... Zombieland Double Tap. I have not seen this one. I've only seen the first flick, so I do need to uh, jump on this one. All right, so next up we have Zookeeper. I love this one. She did play uh, Kevin James' love interest in this film. And we also have The Rundown. This is another great one here. Um, and then we have Gimme Shelter. So she actually played the mom in this. And if I remember correctly, the mom was actually a junkie in here. So, um, and she wasn't really like a huge role in this but she kind of popped in like here and there and stuff um next up we have sin city which is one that i still have yet to check out i think i kind of started watching this at one point and just kind of saw it in pieces um but never like all the way through so we got sin city um and then she was in death proof here which i have not seen seven pounds you guys this is definitely one of her really really good roles um, cause I know she definitely has a bigger part, you know, alongside, uh, Will Smith in here. Absolutely love this film. Definitely one that you need your box of tissues for, that's for sure. So, um, then we do have Eagle Eye, which is one that I definitely need to revisit cause I really don't remember her in this one too much. So, uh, we got that one. All right, the next film I have is called Sorry to Bother You. Um, I haven't watched this one yet, but when I, when I looked into the, her filmography, this was on there, and I guess she is like the voice in the elevator or something. I don't know. <laughs> but we have that one. Then we also have Puerto Ricans in Paris. This is actually a fun flick, you guys. I really enjoyed this one. This is one that I got at Dollar Tree like a few years back. I watched it around that time, and yeah, I... I mean, she's on here, but I forget. I think she might play one of the wives, if I'm not sure. Or maybe she's one of, like, a, another, like, part of, like, the cops or something like that. I don't exactly remember. So it's been a few years since I've seen this. Um, so I don't exactly remember everything about it. But, yeah, we got that one. Next up is The Waterman. Now, she plays the mom in here. And this is one of those films where you have the kid who knows that his mom is sick and she's, like, dying and stuff like that. And so it's one of those films where it has to do kind of with coping. And so the kid, he kind of believes in this kind of myth or whatever and goes out on the hunt for this mythical creature or whatever and hopes that it'll save his mom and stuff like that so it's one of those films so it is pretty 
um, kind of heartfelt and heartbreaking at the same time. Um, but it's a really, really good film. And I mean, even though the mom, like Rosario Dawson's character in here, isn't necessarily have like a huge, huge role, um, she was still really good in it, um, you know, playing this ill mother. Next up, we have Cesar Chavez or Cesar Chavez, however you want to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, she was in here and I enjoyed her for the most part in this. And then for like the couple of minutes that she was in here, she did voice uh, Wonder Woman in uh, Space Jam New Legacy. Um, so we all know that she was in here for like, I don't know, two, three minutes or something like that. All right, next up is this film called Explicit Ills. I have not had a chance to check this one out yet, but it is definitely one that seemed interesting. So, you know, um, and then another Wonder Woman flick here. She voiced uh, obviously Wonder Woman in Throne of Atlantis. And then this is probably one of my favorite, if not my actual favorite role of hers. And that is Rent. Obviously she played Mimi. Mimi was a drug addict in here and stuff. And there was a point where she like almost died and everything and stuff, but she was really, really good in here. I, this is one of my all time favorite musicals, you guys. And yeah, I just, I thought she was amazing in this, so. And then we have the one role that uh, pretty much introduced everybody to her. And that is Kids. I mean, she was good in this for sure. Um, and I know that this one is the one that definitely introduced me to her. So we got kids here. Um, and then we have He Got Game. Which I have not seen this one, so I really can't say, you know, like who she actually plays in here. But uh, I will definitely get to this one at some point. Then we have another film. This is probably another one of my all-time top favorite roles of hers. And that is Light It Up. Obviously, you also have Usher in here, Clifton Collins Jr., Vanessa Williams. Forrest Whitaker and Fred Rosar are also in here. But yeah, basically it's this group of kids that um, they kind of uh, take the school hostage. Like they lock themselves inside the school and um, they basically demand like things because there's a lot of things going on with the school from like broken windows to just a bunch of other things, not having enough books and whatnot and classrooms and stuff like that. So they kind of demand those things um, in order to, uh, you know, unlock the school. And also they took um, the Forrest Whitaker's character, who is the kind of like security guard there. They took him hostage and stuff. So yeah, um, Robert Richards also in her, if you guys know him, he was in um, House of Wax. Uh, he played Paris Hilton's boyfriend in there. And then he was also in uh, Coach Carter playing Coach Carter's son. Um, I really like him in here too. But yeah, Rosario Dawson, she was kind of like sort of part of the head of them, like between her and Usher and stuff. And uh, Vanessa Williams, she played the, you know, like negotiating officer or whatever. But yeah, this is a really, really good flick, you guys. Uh, highly recommend this one if you have not seen it. Right, a few more here. So we do have Shattered Glass. This is actually a really good flick, you guys. Hayden Christensen was pretty awesome in this. But Rosario Dawson, she plays... Um, well, her role isn't very big. Um, she's also like a journalist, but for like another paper or whatever, magazine, whatever it was. Um, and her and her like kind of partner were looking into uh, his uh, stories and stuff like that because this is based on Stephen Glass, who was a very like controversial like case of him like making up all these stories that he was writing and stuff like that. It was just so crazy to see how thoroughly he believed his stories were true and just the lengths that he went to just come up with all of these sources to make them look real and stuff like that. So it's a very, very good watch, you guys. But yeah, Rosario Dawson, her role, like I said, wasn't too big in here, but she was decent. All right, next up is This Girl's Life. There's another one too. She didn't really have a big role. She basically played the, the main girl's uh, friend in here. This more has to do with this girl here who she's a porn star and stuff like that. It's basically kind of in a way a video diary that she does in regards to it and stuff like that. So um, but yeah, um, Rosario Dawson shows up here and there as the best friend and stuff. So got that one. And then last but not least is The Adventures of Pluto Nash. It's been a while since I've seen this one, so definitely need to revisit it. So that is it for my Rosario Dawson collection, you guys. As always, let me know of the films that I have not seen, which ones I need to jump on first. And if I'm missing any, which ones do I need to add to the collection? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not. And also let me know your favorites of hers. See you in my next one, you guys. Bye.